Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Boss Dog token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer it over to your Smart Chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the Boss Dog token on PancakeSwap. I just want to let you guys know as well, I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out of my channel showing you guys how to buy, how to sell, and lots more. So if you guys are interested in the cryptocurrency space, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of videos coming out in the future. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly how to buy the Boss Dog token. First step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And then it's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now I already have it in my whitelist so I can just click on it but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB just click on max or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet, you guys can move along to the next step. 
And I'll just like to remind you guys as well with BNB, just make sure you guys have it in your smart chain wallet. You guys can also purchase BNB directly on Trust Wallet if you would like to as well. Uh, that is not available for every region, but if you are available to purchase BNB on Trust Wallet, you can do that as well. But you will have to ensure the BNB is in your smart chain wallet, not in your BNB wallet. If you do have your BNB in this BNB wallet that you guys see on my screen right now, all you have to do is click on the BNB wallet, click on more, and then just click on swap to smart chain. And then we'll go over to your smart chain wallet. You have to make sure it is there or else you will not see it in pancake swap. So that's very, very important. Anyhow, the first step that you guys have to do to add the boss dog token to trust wallet is you have to go to the first link I have in the description and it'll be over to BSC scans website. And all we're going to do there is copy the address and then paste it into trust wallet. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what to do. You just want to head over to the BSC scan website, scroll down, and you just want to go right beside where it says contract and click on the two squares. It'll then say you that you copied it. You just want to go back after you do that and then go to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Go ahead and click on that. And you just want to paste that address into the search here at the top. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on enable beside that and click on done. Once you guys do that, you'll have to go to the browser on your trust wallet. And for whatever reason, if you don't have your browser on your trust wallet, you're going to have to go to the second link I have in the description. It'll just bring you over to, to the trust wallet website where it's going to show you exactly what to do to add your browser onto your screen. And to do that, I'll just show you guys really quickly what it looks like. You just want to head over to this website here. This is going to tell you right here to enable your dApps browser. And to do that, we're just going to scroll down to the first step here. You're just going to have to click on that link where it says Trust Browser Enable. It's then going to open a pop-up here asking you to open it up in Trust Wallet. And then it will add the browser to your Trust Wallet. Very, very easy. But once you guys have that done, you can go back over to Trust Wallet. And you want to open up the browser. Once you're in the browser, you want to go over to PancakeSwap. Now, if this is the first time using PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your Trust Wallet. So to do that, you just want to go to the top of the screen where you see the connect button. They'll have it circled there as well with a red circle around it. You just want to go ahead and click on connect and then click on Trust Wallet. And then we'll show your wallet address up in the top. Once you guys have your wallet connected, you just want to make sure your balance of BNB is in there. And like I said previously, just make sure the BNB is in your smart chain wallet and then the balance will show up in here. But once you guys have your balance to add the boss dog currency to the pancake swap exchange here you just want to click on select currency and paste that same address that we got from bsc scan in here and then we will see boss dog right here we're just going to click on add and then click on the token once you guys have that done you will have to change your slippage tolerance to 12 percent now you guys can change your slippage tolerance to whatever you would like i just recommend 12 percent because you do get charged fees every time you attempt the transaction so you want to make it go through the first time so you avoid as many much fees as possible but to change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go beside where it says exchange and click on the three lines. And then right here, you can go ahead and change your slippage tolerance to whatever you would like. But again, I recommend using 12%. Anyhow, once you guys have that done, you can go out of here and you just have to type in the amount of BNB that you want to transfer over into the boss dog token. So let's just say we're going to do 0.2. It will then show us how much boss dog we'll get in exchange for our BNB. Now, if you guys are okay with the transaction the way it shows right now, you just want to go over to where it says insufficient BNB balance on my screen. It'll just tell you here that to swap. And then it will show you a more broken down version of your transaction, like your fees and your withdrawal rates and things like that. So you want to make sure that you understand what you see there and you agree with what you see and you're happy with it. If that is the case, you can go ahead and click on confirm for the swap. And then it'll only take a couple minutes to go into your wallet. But once you guys have done that, you can exit out of here. And then your coins will then appear in your trust wallet. And it shouldn't take too, too long. Usually only a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the boss dog token on Trust Wallet using PancakeSwap. This video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.